All right, friends, welcome to the Monday Mine. Can you believe another week has already gone by? That's insane. And here we are on our original world that actually started this channel almost two years ago now. Yeah, there's, there's so much cool stuff. There's like Halloween Town over there and like all kinds of stuff, but that's not why we're here. Today we are here for the Monday Mine, and that's why you're here is because you're looking for a little positivity. So we're going to head down into our mines and we're going to get started. All right, friends, before we get started, let me just remind you to be kind to yourself and to others. This world is a difficult place to live in. It has a lot of hardships and we don't need to add to it for ourselves or to those around us. So let's just embrace kindness, both for others, but also for ourselves. And I promise this world can be better. But let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about points of view. And to kind of bring this topic up, I'm going to turn to one of my favorite things in the entire world, which is Star Wars. <laughs> I've talked about this many times on the channel before, but I absolutely love Star Wars, not just for the lightsabers and the action, but also for a lot of the theology that's in there about life and treating one another and the consequences of being obsessed with power or looking too much inward and what that can bring to you. So I want to talk specifically about something that happened in Return of the Jedi. And so here's the scene. Luke Skywalker had battled Darth Vader and Vader had told him that he was his father. He's still unsure if this is absolutely true. He goes back to meet his, his master, his trainer Yoda, and Yoda's on his deathbed. And so he asks Yoda, is this true? Is Darth Vader my father? And Yoda confirms, yes, he is your father. Luke is obviously devastated by this news because this is his enemy that he's been fighting for the last two films and who is a very great evil in the galaxy. And so also at this point, Yoda passes. And so Luke has lost his master. He has found out that his enemy is actually his father. What does this mean about him? What, where he comes from, all of these things. And at this moment, the ghosts of his original master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, appears to him. And Luke is obviously very upset. He's going through all of this stuff and he turns to him and he goes, You lied to me, man. You lied to me. You told me that Vader had betrayed and murdered my father, not that he was my father. And Obi-Wan explains, What I told you was true from a certain point of view. Basically... Your father had turned to the dark side, and when he did, it destroyed anything that was good. Now, to me, even to me, this is a big stretch on what considers and constitutes as truth. And so Luke is having that same reaction. He says, what do you mean from a certain point of view? And here is what I really wanted to bring up by bringing up that whole scene, which is Kenobi turns to him and says, you're going to find that many of the truths that we cling to depend greatly on our point of view. This is so true. This is so true. A lot of the things that we hold tight and judge ourselves with or judge others with or judge the world with or whatever, religion, politics, all of these things rely so much on our point of view, almost to the the fact that it's hard to even find truth in some of these things because it's so clouded by our life experience which create our point of view. And so Kenobi had a really good point for Luke even though what he said was kind of a, just straight up a lie. What he said here was actually really powerful and really impactful. And so how does this relate to our lives? I mean, what does Star Wars have to do with our day to day? Well, that that's saying that there, that our point of view dictates a lot of our reality or a lot of our truths. I like the fact they use the word truth. That's so powerful. Like our truths are being determined by not facts, but our point of view, which is so flexible, so changeable, so dependent upon our circumstances. I, th I think that's a really, really powerful and reminds us that we can get in trouble 
if our point of view is not being examined. So I want to look at two different things today and talk about point of view being when we're going through things, we can usually take one of two stances. We can zoom, hyper zoom in to our lives and live by the moment to moment. The only things that matter are what are happening right now to me, what's being said to me right now. I'm not caring about my life in the whole experience. I'm not caring about the experience of humanity or of nature or any of these things. I'm just hyper focused on what's happening right today, right now, what that person just said to me, what just happened in my life. And this can cause a whole mess of problems for us. And then there's the opposite of this, which is I don't care about what's happening right now. I'm living for the large picture of existence and the large thing of my life. And, you know, I don't care about friends or any of this stuff because in the long scheme of things they don't matter and and we zoom too far out and then we get in trouble and so let's look at these two things a little closely let's talk back to the first example which is when we're too zoomed in and we've had a really negative experience or we're super stressed out when we're hyper focused on the right here right now things easily appear to be impossible they're just unsurmountable we can't get out of this situation we can't recover from this embarrassment we can't overcome this obstacle because we're so zoomed in we can't see anything we feel like we're being crushed we feel like we're being weighed down by so much weight that we can never stand back up again what created this week's monday mind for me was um, I got a huge promotion at work, like a really, really significant promotion that put me in an administrative position and I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now. I'm, I'm having to be in charge of a lot of financial things and, and spending large amounts of money and, and managing people and their needs and, and it's just starting and really I'm not even in the full mix of it. It's just beginning and I'm feeling a bit stressed. Now I'm not feeling like overwhelmed or anything like that, but I I felt it this week. Like I really felt it when I was doing my runs and my workouts. I could feel my body releasing a lot of tension, a lot of anxiety and things like that. So I'm conscious of the fact that right now I'm very zoomed in on my situation. I'm very much waking up, going to bed, thinking about the tasks that need to be done right now the um, ordering of certain things and the planning of future events and things like that. And so there's a lot of a lot of just anxiety to get started and do certain things and make sure that I have all my pieces in place before the needs arise. And so I'm, I'm zoomed in and I recognize that in myself. And so what I need to do and what I've been trying to do is zoom out and say, you know what? James. If you don't know, if I haven't said this before, my name is James. And so it's not Jedi PJ, but, but I, I zoom out and I say, you know what, James, you, you've been doing this kind of work for 15 years and have had success after success and, and failure, sure, but turn those failures into learning opportunities. You can do this. I've had this conversation with myself. You can do this. Like, it's going to be okay. And even if it doesn't wind up being okay it's still gonna be okay this is work this is not your life or death this is not the meaning of your existence this is work so keep it in its place even though I, we spend a lot of time at our jobs it is not what defines us do not define yourself by your jobs guys please please do not do that jobs come and go you can get terminated from a company because someone doesn't like you or something like that it's a very very dangerous thing to ever define yourself by what you do define yourself by the fact that you just exist that you are a miracle of even the probability of existence define yourself by that because that cannot be taken from you okay and so i'm learning right now and reminding myself zoom out zoom out don't be super hyper focused on the minute to minute things that are happening take time to breathe I, every day during lunch, I go for a 30 minute walk. I, I arrange this with my job and my employers. Um, whenever I'm taking jobs now, I just tell them, look, half hour every day, I'm going to go for a walk in the middle of the day. I have to do this for my own well-being and mental health. And you'd be amazed, like a lot of jobs, because of the type of job I have, I'm able to do that. It's, it's always like office business work kind of things. 
you couldn't do that if you worked like at a retail store or something like that. But you do get a lunch most places and you can just go for a walk on your lunch and have something small to eat or something like that. But anyways, I find that this walk helps me center and kind of release a bunch of anxiety because I'm not focused upon what I need to do. I'm just living for the walk at that moment. And see, coming back to perspective, I'm even drilling further down into right exactly that moment. So perspective's important. We need to zoom in and out as we go throughout our days. And so when I go for the walk, I'm hyper-focused on the fact that I'm just outside. I'm seeing trees, I'm seeing squirrels. There's deer on this track that I walk which is just literally right across the street from my job. And I see deer out there. I see all kinds of nature that I get to connect with and forget about everything that needs to go on for that 30 minutes. And when the 30 minutes is up, I'm right back at it. Like I'm right back in the job. I'm re-energized, re refocused. And so it's a win-win for both my employer and for me. So remember when you're feeling just devastated by something that immediately happened, try to zoom out. You know what, have I been through situations like this before? You probably have, maybe not that exact situation, but something similar, and guess what? You made it through. Have other people been through a situation that's stressing you or causing you anxiety before? And what happened to them? Did they make it? They did. They made it. You're gonna make it too. Zoom out, don't get hyper-focused on what's happening right here, right now. The other side of this is the danger of living life constantly zoomed way out everything i do is you know on a 30-year plan 40-year plan i'm working now for retirement I, everything in my life if it's not going toward the end goal it's meaningless this is a dangerous mindset it can help you achieve certain things like you know financial wealth and um, you do need some kind of view like zoomed out view from time to time when you're planning a long projected career span like i'm going to work here for this amount of time i'm going to get this degree i'm going to get this certification i'm going to work in this company i'm going to intern here all so that i can ultimately end at you know the x mark of whatever you're trying to get to sure in that situation you need things like that but when you live your life in this really zoomed out view things very quickly become meaningless the things that you're experiencing in your life day to day, you spend time with friends in a zoomed out view, they can feel meaningless. Is it meaningless? No. But when you're looking at the whole of your life, maybe it is because you're so far out and that you're looking at things in centuries, years. Um, you're not looking at days, weeks, months. You're, you're focused so much on this broad view of your life that things just start feeling very empty and pointless. I've gone through many times in my life where I've been in this very situation where I'm looking at my life as a whole, like a whole event from start to finish, and I'm going, what is the point? What is the point of this? Like all these things I do, what do they matter? I go to work and I work my job and then I, I make money, but it gets spent on bills and and taxes and yeah i get a cute few things here i enjoy and some games and things like that but what is the point of this but the reason i'm feeling like that is not because of truth but because of truth being dictated by point of view this is what kenobi in, in star wars or george lucas or whoever wrote that line who was, had a lot of insight was trying to get at like these things that we feel like are so true i i've talked to a lot of people who are nihilists. And if you're not sure what that is, it just means that ultimately you believe that everything in life is completely meaningless. I don't adhere to an exact nihilistic view, but I do feel that, sure, a lot of, I can admit, a lot of things that we do, do seem pointless. However, they only seem pointless because of my point of view. We create all these truths for ourselves. I don't look the way I should. Why do you say that? Because, I've created this point of view that I should look like this. But nothing else in the world does that. Bees don't fly around thinking, man, I wish I had a longer stinger. I wish my wings were more shiny. They don't do that. Beavers don't walk around going, man, I wish I was better at building dams. I wish I could cut a tree down faster because I saw this other beaver over here and he cut a tree in half the time. Nothing does. We do this. We create these points of views and then condemn ourselves with them, but they're totally made up. 
They're just made up. And the great thing about that is we can unmake those things. We can just decide, you know what? Those aren't true and they're not gonna affect my life anymore. They're just not going to bother me because I recognize that they are not real. They're only real when I allow them to be. And so we have to be conscious of where our Zoom level is as we're going throughout our life. And normally this comes becomes critical when we're going through a hard time, when we're feeling stressed, when we're feeling depressed, when we're feeling, or we've gone through something that's tragic, like the loss of a loved one or the loss of a relationship or something like that. That's time for us to take stock and go, where's my Zoom level at right now? Do I need to zoom out and realize that in the grand scheme of things, this moment is not going to affect my overall life? Or do I need to actually zoom in and realize that this thing does matter or doesn't matter, whatever it may be, because, you know, right now here in this moment, I'm on my walk. I'm out in enjoying nature and I can let go of those things. See, your perspective can change your actual truth. It can change your truth because a lot of the things, not everything, not everything, there are things that are absolute truths, but that's not what we're talking about. And for just a reality check, 90% of your life is not focused on absolute truths. It's focused on point of view truths, which are totally changeable at any point in your life. And so don't let yourself be condemned, controlled, pushed down because you're too zoomed in or too zoomed out. Just take some time to reflect on your life and what you're going through and just realize you can change the truth that's being dictated by your point of view. Hopefully that makes sense. Guys, we're getting out of April. We're going to be heading into May. I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot more talk about Star Wars theology because it is Star Wars month in May. May the 4th be with you is coming up. And so I'm really excited about those kind of things. And I've been watching some more Star Wars and getting back into it. And so that's kind of what between my job stressing me and watching Star Wars, that's what sparked this week's Monday Mind. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to see this kind of content weekly. And so, guys, have a fantastic week, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Mining Positivity. Bye, friends.